Hello and welcome to another episode of Jim's Farming. Hang on, the phone's ringing. Sophie Jim's farming. Uh, so today is another cloudy overcast day in Herefordshire. Uh, we haven't done any combining this week because we had an awful lot of rain over the weekend and the, they've been and tested the wheat and it's just it's just too too damp and we've got enough wet wheat in the shed so we want some some good dry stuff so i'm just getting ahead of the work and i'm out with the subsoiler so that's our uh, flat lift subsoiler you can see out the back there um, we put we well when we bought it we had two we had two legs on it um, but we've since uh, in the last couple of years added a couple more legs we put a, another one on for this season just to do uh, a better job across the width uh, it's also got a hydraulic packer so it's quite good quite handy to adjust the depth on it and get it going got it working about sort of eight and ten inches uh, just to alleviate any compaction we've got um, uh, I've whipped over the tram lines already just brought up the wheel marks that was particularly hard going uh, so it was obviously doing a job there and now I'm just making my way across the field using auto steer so you probably if you've watched any of my other videos you've heard me talking about the ag open GPS system that I've built um, and yeah so this is the first time I've really utilized and actually got it going doing some work other than the section control of the sprayer so I did actually use the section control on this field um, and got on and sprayed off some grass weeds there's quite a few grass weeds in here uh, after we got the uh, got the field cleared the bales uh, just to get on top of those and um, yeah so getting this worked up got another field to do over the hedge and we're going to get some rape in when we finish combining. Um, but yeah, so so far so good. The uh, GPS is working quite well, although I am finding, uh, especially if I'm working up against, say here, I'm up against the tram line where I've already worked. Um, it does tend to want to pull, pull to the side a bit. So, but that's not a massive issue with this. Uh, it's only really a couple of centimeters out at the worst. No, just, just steered in a bit wrong there. Uh, so the nice thing about this, although not really using it very well at the moment. Excuse me. It's a bit difficult to do this with one hand. Right. Uh, so just engage the steering. Bring me onto my line. Drop the subsoiler in. So the good thing about this is I can work round and round in land, so I don't need to go and shunt and turn when I get against the run I've just been down. So it should take me quite a lot less time and see I'm driving uh, a sort of perfect width every time there's no uh, no overlap or underlap so to speak of travel and so far yeah I've done not quite half the field and it's been working really well 
uh, other than like I was saying that just does have a fair bit I found of the cultivator does does pull to one side and I think it does, the auto steer does have a bit of trouble just keeping the front end uh, pointing in the right direction but like I say not a massive issue most of the time it's within sort of four centimeters uh, it is going pretty well um, I'm very pleased with it although what I have found is I've got nothing to do there's no steering apart from when I get the ends and if I went and mapped the field out and put a put a uh, perimeter in I could actually get it turning on its own as well but I've got to do something it's uh, <laughs> good lot to do with myself but yeah you can probably see down there that's pretty straight line um yeah no very pleased with it for for what it's cost uh, I think tractor driving just become a little bit boring all of a sudden in some ways but less stressful um, but yeah I mean, you know, I'm still still creeping along and still doing a pretty good job that is pretty straight and I think if I can get it drilling that well you know that's that's gonna be great um, yeah but that's the thing it's getting that's, that's that is what is really important is getting it set up well to work on the drill um, but using this as a bit of a test um, I think uh, it should should get it going well Oh, I'm still still cracking on um, it's a little bit slow going we're on our little my little favorite 6230 uh, I think she's about 95 horsepower so she's working pretty hard at this um, and yeah it's uh, yeah getting through it I think uh, the uh, the flat lift with the four legs now has got a working width. Uh, we've got the outer legs out as far as it'll go, and a spacing. It's a little over 50 centimeters per between the legs, which gives a gives a spacing of working width of I think it's about 2.2 meters. And I'll just uh, pop you down. between passes and that's just where the cultivator is pulling the tractor to the sides so we've got uh, I think it's 10 45 kilo wafer weights on the front of here so it's probably not quite enough to could perhaps do with a bit more um, just to get get a bit more get the front end down and get a bit more um, get the track to a bit more balanced it's not too bad with this um, and I, th I think that's part of the reason why she's perhaps just a little bit light on the front and why it does wander occasionally a little bit but actually most of the time that's the that's the sort of range it's within four or five centimeters yeah uh, there's probably a bit more fine-tuning to do with the steer settings here just tap that one wheel angle all the counts the Ackerman there which is so on the tractor wheels when you turn a sharp corner 
warm wheel on the inside of the turn uh, pulls in more so that's sort of Ackerman steering and uh, so there are settings to account for that sensor settings, max steer angle and then these are all various settings for the wheel motor and how much power is provided to that, various things and there's two steering modes, the Stanley which I don't use um, or haven't yet really used yet, uh, I use this Pure Pursuit and basically the little yellow dot there that's the look ahead and the tractor is constantly trying to steer to that point to stay in line so and there's various settings for side hill and how much it accounts for that but yeah seems to be uh, pretty good sometimes I just get a bit of a wiggle that's the only worry when I come to drilling um, you can probably see down there I didn't quite pull in straight uh, I suppose one way around that to have a wider headland but headlands do take a bit more time to, to do um, went through a bit of hard there is this field does get quite stiff as you get towards the hedge and gets quite red uh, quite classic sort of red Herefordshire clay um, so yeah there we go so just finished the middle of this field it's all gone pretty well um, guidance has done a great job to be fair uh, what I have found, if I'm going up, sort of finishing out a block and going between two lots of work ground uh, with this subsoiler, it will pull a bit from side to side. Uh, I think that's just largely to the, due to the nature of the cultivator. Um, the legs provide quite a lot of resistance to the tractor and I think it just just pulls it to the side where there's least sort of resistance so it's constantly trying to compensate for the steering but other than that very happy I mean when I come to drilling with a combination drill if I do get this actually fixed up on there um, it, it that shouldn't have anywhere near the sort of pull that this does and it'll be on a bigger tractor so uh, hoping that won't be a problem so anyway I'm onto the headlands still not steering um, so as well as sort of straight a b lines this actually will do an a b curve so i actually had to do some steering um, mapped it out and put in an a b curve around the outside of the field uh, you can see the little red hashed line there and now i'm just on my second pass and it's, it's doing a pretty good job really um, doesn't stay perfectly on the line it does seem to wander a little bit more um, this is the first time I've actually used it to be honest but I think like I said I think that's largely due to the having this bloody land anchor behind uh, this is a particularly stiff part of the field it's some pretty heavy ground here uh, when when there was potatoes on here in 2019 they didn't actually lift this headland um, it was just too wet so um, yeah it's, it's not doing a bad job so it's normally within a couple of centimeters uh, this isn't a particularly challenging curve at the moment but you can see back there and you can kind of see the spacing between the passes uh, perhaps a little bit narrow it might partly be due to me not having the distance of the cultivator set up properly on the system here I haven't been out and measured it to be honest uh, I think it's set up for when I had the sprayer on so um, and I think the sprayer boom is something like 2.8 meters from the axle uh, whereas I suppose the front of the cultivator here is I don't know a meter and well a bit over a meter I guess but yeah so we can just manage that curve yeah see it's just numbers just wandering up 10 centimeters 
but it is slowly tracking its way back in. Um, probably as good looking back there. If well, definitely as good, if not better, that than uh, than I could drive by hand. But uh, yeah, this is uh, quite a big, quite a challenging curve. It's just do well to get around here. Yeah, we're just right driving here onto the. Uh, it's just struggling to pull it around the corner. And now it's sort of oversteered a bit, a little bit narrow, and it's coming back in. But no, it's um, pretty impressed, really. It's uh, certainly not doing a bad job, and I think that's as good a job as anybody could do driving uh, manually. Apparently, I'm just coming up to the, to the end. So I found another trick that OpenAid can do. So, see there, we're counting down. Now, all I have to do, cross the headland tram line, pull up the cultivator, and uh, there we go. change gear and lift the cultivator up and down. Pretty decent. I'll hopefully get this field finished this evening. Uh, does tell me uh, look at there, 3.71 hectares I do believe up in the top corner. Uh, on our maps is actually four hectares, so there's 0.3 of a hectare missing somewhere, so I'm not sure quite what to believe. Um, the other thing, I think that percentage of the field that's left to do, is probably, I think that's time left in the field at the current rate we're going, or maybe that's time I've been in here. I'm not sure, I'm going to have to check out what these things do. 0.5 hectares is possibly what I've done, I think that's that's right. Uh, although, the one thing here, um, so this little button here puts the coverage on and off. Uh, it's pretty handy with a sprayer. Uh, I got it set up so it will put the coverage in when I'm spraying. Uh, with the section control, but with this I haven't actually got a switch which activates it, so I have it turned on all the time um, And then I can just see my passes just Don't really need it. I can kind of see on the field what I've done, but um, It what it needs is another sensor uh, Something maybe on the linkage just as Which which uh, which it's I've got I've, I've got a plug in the box uh, to, to put something in just need to get around to doing it Probably try and get it sorted out with drill. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is probably the most horrible soil on the farm in this top corner. It was pretty bad over the far side of the other field, but this here is really red and horrible. Corn looks well here. Uh, well, the stubble does anyway. It's thick, it's thick. But um, yeah, so yeah, it gives me a little count down. It also gives you a little ping to say you're approaching it, just to remind you, a bit like the uh, John Deere Green Star. Um, yeah, so it's um, pretty good. So yeah, that's speed read out. There we go, you might have heard that. Uh, just get to the end, I'll uh, slow down. Oh, I've got the tram line. And uh, there you go again. Got to have a bit of confidence in it to uh, go into the hedge. <laughs> you know, it sometimes takes a little bit of time. That's why I'm quibble with uh, getting lined up. So getting closer, and there we are. We're on a, just wandering a bit here because we're on a, 
one of last year's tram lines that I've already been down. So, uh, so yeah, it's the subsoil is bossing, uh, bossing the tractor about a bit. Uh, it can go a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, just uh, colour it in, filling in the gaps. There we go. Anyway, that is it for now. And I'll catch you again soon. Thank you. Say goodbye.